kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Conley. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Bengals take over first and 10. At their own play. The Bengals drive about to get going. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time they can't expect that going forward and we'll see if it's that easy here on second down here's Mixon and he gets this to the 35 good for a gain of five that's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run and a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play you're gonna smother it but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A huge play there for Chicago. 42 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. But it'll be second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. So one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Take it down. Set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The Clemson product, DJ Reader, got in for the sack. And it's fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Watson, and the pressure gets to him again. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Roquan Smith in on the tackle. Taken down back at the 42. On second down, Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. Burrow's pass. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. 
Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. He's got his man, Boyd. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 17 and a Cincinnati first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. The 17-yard line. From the red zone now, look to throw. Open man here, Sims complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And he's got it. And he will take it out in for a Bengals touchdown. 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals able to get this back within a touchdown. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. So five yards for running into. Lucky it wasn't 15 for roughing. No doubt about it because they protect the kickers and the guys holding the ball almost as much as they protect quarterbacks in the pocket. Don't want those types of injuries. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And he'll give it here to his running back. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And they give this time to the tailback. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. This is caught, and he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there just before halftime. 57 yards. And goal to go. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there as time expires in the first half. As the Bears push further out in front. And they extend their lead. A little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? So it's halftime. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. At their own 32-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still, war due. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Ball at the 33, second and nine. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He'll drop this one down to mix it. Pushing him away. Popped it right out there. And he takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 47 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Joe Mixon. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On 
third down, Burrow. This will be caught just inside the 10.